Hi everyone, Widget here. Um, I'm sorry I haven't recorded sooner. Things have been a little chaotic. I just started another semester at school and everything and between that and everything else, it's a little chaotic in my house. So, update on the marshmallows. If you follow me on Instagram, you would know that I've at least failed at marshmallows twice. Now, um, <laughs> I'm hoping that my third chance will be successful, however, I'm not holding my breath. However, I think I figured it out. Um, so the first time I made marshmallows, I, um, hand mixed everything with a whisk. Epic fail. Don't do it that way. You have to have a stand mixer for this. So, <laughs> the second, um, time I did it, I used my stand mixer. Now, here's the thing with it. I attempted it following the directions. However, the directions do not give you enough direction to do it properly. So, what I figured out is that I need to mix the, um batter <laughs> mixture mixture that's the word um longer uh when i first made it obviously mixing it with your hand and a whisk is extremely painful after a certain amount of time and i did it according to the directions which it just tells you to do it until it gets to this color epic fail don't do it that way it so doesn't work that way ever um so what wound up is you wind up with if you look on my Instagram you'll see it um, it looks like white fluffy on top and then the bottom layer looks like jello is what it looks like because it's not completely mixed through is the problem so when I did the stand mixer I did everything that way and I mixed it to where I thought it was thick enough um, and had mixed for a relatively significant amount of time, probably 20, no, probably 15 minutes. It was not mixed enough, however, it was mixed better than the hand. Um, with the, <laughs> with my attempt to using a whisk and my own physical strength, I wound up with a very thin layer of what looks like marshmallows on top. Um, and mostly jello. The second time I attempted this, I wound up with a very thin layer of jello and mostly, um, fluff. However, it doesn't really work that well to get them out of the pan and stuff like that when it is <laughs> still got the layer of jello because it adheres to the parchment paper. So, this is what I'm planning on doing. I'm going to pick up more gelatin because you have to use that in the recipe, which, surprise, surprise, I didn't know that was in marshmallows. Um, and so I'm going to pick up more jello. I'm going to attempt now a third batch. I did pink the first time because that's what the recipe in the Disney Cakes and Sweets calls for. Um, I didn't use rose water because, well, it's expensive to buy and it's really only for flavoring so I'd much rather have vanilla flavored marshmallows unless of course it's a peep but that's a whole nother story um so I did pink the first batch the second time I said screw it oh and I also stopped separating it into two pans because I realized that it works much better if you put it in one pan all together instead of because otherwise it makes them really really flat and it doesn't really work that well um, it's easier if you have most of the batter in one pan because then it, um, when you go to take it out of the pan, it makes it a little easier to pull apart from the parchment paper. So I'm just going to do it all in an eight by eight square pan this next time. Um, and so, uh, I'm going to do another color. So you can see on my Instagram, which is widget, W-I-D-G-E-T-0712, um, you'll see the first batch is pink, um, you'll see how it's, it'll, you'll see the white fluffy, like, pinky color stuff on top and everything. You won't see the epic fail. The epic fail is the green batch, which I took a picture of and documented, where you, I didn't show the top, but you can see I pull up 
um, the parchment paper from the pan and you'll see like the very dark green jello um, color on the bottom I marked it epic fill but so that's there I don't know what color my next batch is going to be I have 12 color well technically 10 now to choose from um, but I'm gonna try and do that in the next week I'm also getting the ingredients together to do the um, honey wheat cupcakes I think is what they're called I don't have the recipe I, I don't have the magazine in front of me at the moment because I'm trying to finish this really quickly while I'm taking a break from schoolwork so um, but those are my next tasks at hand um, after that I'm going to attempt to make the Dalmatian paw print cake um, I did, uh, I did, oh, what was it, two days ago, just for giggles, I attempted to make my own buttercream frosting and my own from scratch vanilla cake. Uh, cake Epic Fail didn't have the right size cake pan. Well, I had, what I was going off of, which is another YouTube channel, Cookies, Cupcakes, and Cardio, because I love them. I'm addicted to them. Please subscribe to their page. Um, please send, tell them I sent you, so that way maybe they'll take <laughs> note of mine, um, YouTube page. Uh, but I attempted their vanilla cake, which they tell you to use two 9-inch round pans, which I don't have 9-inch round pans, because again, I'm an amateur baker. I don't have lots of stuff. Um, so I used 8 inch rounds, which she advises you that you probably will need a third 8 inch round, me going, yeah, whatever, that's not how it's, yeah, epic fail. <coughs> I got it all over my oven because the one pan was filled more than the other one and it bubbled over and then ruined the one below it because <laughs> it was dripping there which of course leads that one to not cook properly oh it was an epic mess uh, <laughs> it was horrible um my husband cleaned up the the disaster of it so I can't show you my epic fail but I fail I do um I didn't take doc documentation of that fail though uh, if I fail again, I'll make sure to document for you guys. Um, so then I, I made the vanilla cake that failed, but I made the buttercream frosting. Um, it's amazing. It tastes so much better than the stuff out of the, out of the, uh, can that I buy all the time. So I'm, I'm happy that I learned how to make buttercream frosting. I'm sure I will screw up the next batch of that though because I'm known for that. I might n nail it once and then fail miserably the next time. Also, let me know if you guys want to know about what I do for dinners and stuff like that because I do, I cook. I'm the primary cook. I'm sorry. I hate my hair. Um, <laughs> I'm messing with it. Um, I cook dinner constantly. I'm not much of a lunch maker. My husband generally covers lunch on the weekends for the kids and of course my one's at school um during the week so she eats lunch there and then the other one just munches on whatever I'm munching on um I do do breakfast um I'm a breakfast person I was raised that way <laughs> um uh to me breakfast is not cereal that's my lunch uh so if you guys want to know like what I do for breakfasts ideas and what I do for dinner because that's like a main staple in my house that I love cooking for um, let me know also I recently bought Star Wars uh, Jello Jiggler molds uh, I'm obsessed <laughs> thank my brother he got me hooked on Star Wars as a kid um, geeking out about it uh, so I bought this Jello Jiggler kit that came with two mold uh, trays because there's only six on each and then four boxes of jello I've made them several times I've bought more jello now to make more jigglers my kids are obsessed with them as am I I'm obsessed with making them I don't personally eat them um I don't really eat jello anymore I mean it's a whole nother story but yeah I'm not a big jello eater so I'm, I haven't eaten them my husband and my kids have found them thrilling my kids 
constantly fight over what characters they get. So it's fun. Jigglers are easy. Um, my only recommendation, if you are making jigglers, put the tray on like a baking sheet or whatever, or I just do that because I make two trays at a time. Put it in the freezer instead of putting the trays in the fridge to um, and wait like I think it says an hour for them to firm. But <laughs> I literally put them into my freezer for 20 to 30 minutes depending. Um, and then I take them out and they're completely firm so it, it kind of speeds up the process because I'll do it like right before I make dinner. I put them in there, I'll make dinner, and then I pull them out as I'm making my plates for my kids and then they're ready to go for dessert. Um, or if you leave them in there longer, they turn into little like ice kebabs, which makes it easier to pop them out actually of the mold. And then I just take them out and put them in the fridge and let them thaw um, that way. And I'll do that like if I leave them in there and then like I do it generally when it's later at night. I let my kids are like in bed and making them whatever. I throw them in the freezer, finish up whatever I need to do around the house. I come back, they're completely frozen solid. Pop them on the trays, put them in um, Ziploc baggies and then I put them in the fridge and then buy dinner the next day. They are completely thawed. Um, it just makes popping them out easier because I really don't like how you, you have to, especially with the jiggler mold I have, there's layers and everything to it and you don't want to screw it up by running a knife through it, which I've done. Uh, <laughs> but that's what I've been up to lately on that front. Um, I did get a T-Fail OptiGrill, so I've been grilling pretty much every night. That's my new favorite obsession. Um, love it. Recommend it. Buy it. Uh, <laughs> I cook from frozen. I cook from fresh on it. I, hot dogs, uh, Italian sausage, burgers, uh, brats. Next thing I'm going to do on that is pork chops. I've not done pork chops yet. I still have to get fish and chicken breasts to do on it, but I'm loving it so far. Um... I let my seven-year-old cook on it because she can. I trust her with it. She's good with it. She loves it. She finds it fascinating. She's like, I'm a master griller. Um, so if it brings my kids joy, whatever. They love to be in the kitchen with me. But again, um, please like my videos if you like them. Tell me what I'm doing wrong. I know I ramble. I'm sorry. I'm trying to get better at it. Um, <laughs> uh, subscribe. Uh, recommend me to your friends. Tell them to subscribe. Follow me on Instagram at widget0712. Uh, I am on Twitter at widget2009. Um, everything is linked together, so if you follow me on Instagram, you'll see what I post. It goes to Twitter. If you only want to follow me on Twitter, trust me, all my Instagram stuff goes there, my Facebook stuff goes there. Everything cross posts it's easier for me. Um, so again, like, subscribe, critique, not that I'm good at taking critique, but I'll try. Um, and I will try and get better at uploading videos on a regular basis. Again, it's, I'm getting back into the routine of school and everything. So it might get a little easier in a, a couple weeks when I've gotten used to my classes. I'm literally at the end of my first week of school. So thank you again and I will see you soon.